Well, thank you guys um, on the Facebook machining YouTube community. Um, I tell you, when I first posted about the lathe, uh, I got a heck of a lot of good uh, feedback about the lathe itself. And then, you know, people were very helpful on helping me find manuals. People have been very helpful on this wiring issue. Um, I've learned that I am not an electrician. <laughs> well, I know how to strip wire and I can put connectors on. And Stan, I, you know, went back and reviewed your videos to make sure that I, I had my connectors oriented correctly. And when I was crimping them, I was crimping them correctly. Uh, what I figured out was that, um, yeah, even though I was able to do all those things, and I'm not going to pick all that up, um, I'm not an electrician. However, I got some great feedback from you guys. And uh, Scott, I think I'm going to take, well, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up blending several, pe uh, several people's advice on this one. Um, so the first thing that I found was that, Scott, you, you were right. Um, I, I disconnected the T123 out of that control box and plugged in, you can kind of see it's just half-assed hooked up right now, just to make sure that things are working. And um, I am able to fire the thing up and control it from the VFD itself. I still use, right now the, uh, the selector is still in play for a high and low, right? So I'm still using that part of the wiring to give me my high and low. So right now we're on off. Um, if I put it on low and then turn the VFD on, and this is important uh, as I'm doing all my research, don't have the VFD running when you're doing these uh, tumbler switches. And I haven't adjusted ramp up or, or down times at all, but it's on, ready to go, and I press the start button. She runs! It works, right? Stop and it brings it back down. At which point, I can make other changes. Now, what I probably should do is leave, and this is where, Scott, you had the, um, you in your drawing showed me how to do the momentary uh, on the brake itself. I don't know that I'm gonna get, the other thing that I found is the brake doesn't work on this thing. Um, really common for these old lathes, apparently, as I've done my research. But uh, the brake doesn't work on this one. So I can leave it in the on position, it doesn't matter, because I'm running it from the VFD. Uh, if I can repair the brake, I'll just use this simply for the brake itself. But what I'm going to do is uh, tomorrow I'm going to order an actual control box, so the remote for the VFD. I'm going to basically, I think I'm just going to gut everything that's in that box right now, pull all that stuff out, mount the VFD in there, hook up a remote here. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I'll hook the remote up there because the remote just needs start, stop, right? Big E stop kind of button. So start, stop. Uh, and I'll probably put the potentiometer in there to give me some control uh, a little bit. But frankly, really all I need is start and stop because I'm still controlling the, uh, the actual uh, speed, the high-low, through the, the AB switch. Right? So that's still there. Now what I haven't tried is reverse. So you guys will get to join me on that. So there's there, reverse, low, and let's go. Let's see if it works. But I haven't tried that yet. Hey, look at that. It's still in forward. So I might need. That's interesting. I might need to do the forward and reverse on the uh, on the control panel then, because it's that or this AB switch isn't wired right. But that's high. So let's put it in. It's off. Let's put it in our lowest gear we can have. So 40 is that. So just for friends, let's let's fire it up on forward. Make sure it's working. Ah, you know what I just noticed in all this. This is backwards. I was running in reverse when I thought I was in forward. And when I'm in forward, I'm running, yeah, when I'm in reverse, I'm running in forward. 
Okay, so, obviously, when I was doing my, my quick tests, um, I didn't check that. Because the first thing that I did, as soon as I saw power working at all, is I fired up the camera, and I wanted to make sure that I gave credit where credit was due, because all of you uh, are the reason why I got this done. Um, so, if this is wired backwards, I'm wondering if it's the VFD that's reversed. I mean, I've got one, two, three in properly there, so I'll have to check that. Uh, I'll check the function for me. I'll get the manual out for the FM50 and I'll figure that out. But I think what I'm seeing at this point is a plan at least coming together. So we know the lathe works. We know we can spin it up. In fact, I'll tell you what, just for grins. High speed. There's that. Just out, out. High and so there in reverse. But let's let's see what it does. Stock, the gears and the, the apron actually uh, has oil, an oil reservoir in it as well. So, gotta get that done. Uh, I'll order those parts, they'll be in. Uh, I get this stuff within a day or two, so thankfully that'll, that shouldn't take long to get here. And get the rest of this wired up, buttoned up, the belts on, and we're in, we're in business. Mm -hmm. 